Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you on how to unlock and learn hero skill in Dragon Nest C. Now, without further ado, let's start. To unlock and learn hero skill, you must meet all the necessary conditions to unlock the dream catcher side quest that is required to take to unlock hero skill. The first requirement is that your character must be max leveled to level 99, and you have completed your character's second specialization quest. The second requirement is that your character must have completed the awakening quest. If you want to know the different ways to level up and how to clear second specialization and awakening quests, then I highly suggest watching my video guides about leveling up. I will leave the video links in the video description and pinned comments below. And the third and final requirement is that your hero level must be at least hero level 20. If you want to know how to increase your hero level, then I highly suggest watching my video guides about hero leveling. I will leave the video links in the video description and pinned comments below. If you've met all of these requirements, you will now see the blank slot for hero skill in the top middle of your skill hotkeys, and you will now be able to accept the dream catcher side quest to unlock the base hero skill. So, how do we get the dream catcher side quest? If you've already met these requirements, you will now be able to receive the dream catcher side quest from Geraint for these classes, and healer Kana for Vander class in Red Lotus Palace main streets. I'll repeat, the dream catcher side quest will be only available once you've met all of these requirements. If your character belongs to one of these classes, you can receive the hero dream catcher side quest from the NPC Geraint in Red Lotus Palace main streets. If your character has met all of these requirements, the NPC Geraint will appear in this part of Red Lotus Palace main streets. And if your character class is Vander, you can receive the hero dream catcher side quest from the NPC healer Kana in Red Lotus Palace main streets. Healer Kana is located in this part of Red Lotus Palace main streets. After receiving the hero dream catcher side quest, the next thing that we need to do is go to Radams. To get to Radams quickly, find and talk to ticket agent Yi Dehyong, located in this part of Red Lotus Palace main streets. Upon talking to the ticket agent NPC, follow these conversation choices to teleport directly to Radams. Upon arriving at Radams, just follow the blue arrow guides on the right side of your screen to complete each conversation quest. After completing the conversation quests, the next thing that we need to do is to clear the Black Lake dungeon stage in any difficulty, and follow the blue quest arrow guides to progress in the quest. After defeating the dungeon boss, Go and follow the blue quest arrow guides to complete the quest. After completing the quest inside the dungeon, go back to Radams and continue following the blue arrow quest guide. Upon talking to the NPC, you will be asked the question, where to find a sea jewel, and the answer you must choose is Merka's port. After arriving at Merka's port, you will need to find the three sea jewels which are, Coral Stone, Lapis Lazuli, and Aquamarine. You can find the Coral Stone from the seagull beside the NPC Captain Hector located in this part of Merka's port. Lapis Lazuli can be found from the Sack of Minerals located in this part of Merka's port.
and aquamarine can be found from the NPC Troubled Fishmonger, located in this part of Merka's port. Now, after getting the three sea jewels, continue to follow the Blue Arrow quest guides to progress on the quest. After completing the dialogue with the NPC, go to Rubenart's hideout, to finish the Hero Dreamcatcher side quest. After completing the dialogue with the NPC Rubenart, you have now unlocked the base hero skill. The default hotkey for hero skill is the F12 key on your keyboard, and you can change it in the control settings. To access the control settings, press the escape key, select control settings, and on the lower left of the window, you will see the hotkey setting for the hero skill. In my case, I've set the hero skill hotkey to numpad key number 5, and make sure to save your changes before closing the control settings window. Okay, now that you know how to get the base hero skill, let's now focus on how to evolve it into ancient hero skill. So, what's the difference between the base hero skill and the ancient hero skill? Their main difference is first in the hero skill display and hero skill action speed. The base hero skill upon activation, will undergo a camera POV change, and the animation to finish is long. On the other hand, ancient hero skill skips the camera POV change, and the long animation process. The second difference is the hero skill gauge acquisition. To fill up the base hero skill, your only way is to use one specific skill, and it takes a quite significant amount of setup, while the ancient hero skill gauge is filled by using five of the character's main skills. And the third difference is the addition of the ancient dragon jade, which you can equip on your main weapon to enhance the ancient hero skill damage even further. So, how do we upgrade the base hero skill to ancient hero skill? First, you will need to get the Arc Transcendence Power side quest. The prompt for the side quest will appear after you've reached these conditions. You can receive the quest here by clicking the Receive Quest button, or you can accept it by pressing the U key on your keyboard. Under the Remote Quest tab, you will see the side quest in the Mila Laurel Remote Quest. To progress in the quest, go to Mila Laurel Town, so we will need to go there. After arriving at Mila Laurel Town, follow the Blue Arrow Guides to have a conversation with the NPC Elf Guard of Elia. After the dialogue, your next task now is to clear the Ark of Transcendence 10th floor. So, where and how do we find and enter Ark of Transcendence? To enter Ark of Transcendence, we need to find the NPC Elf Guard Rebellia, located in this part of Mila Laurel Town. Talk to her, then select the Ark of Transcendence entry option. Upon arriving inside the Ark of Transcendence, if this is your first time, you will need to start your way from clearing Ark of Transcendence first floor until you've worked your way to Ark of Transcendence tenth floor. In other words, clear the first floor, then the second floor, then the third floor, and so on and so forth until you've reached and cleared the tenth floor. Your ultimate main goal for every floor is to clear the stage before the time runs out. In my case, I've already cleared Arc of Transcendence first up to 9th floor, and I will now attempt to clear the 10th floor. Important note. The base requirement to clear the Arc of Transcendence 10th floor is that your character must be at least Sunset Training Ground Labyrinth 19 clearer. After completing the Arc of Transcendence 10th floor, a chest will appear, and upon opening it, you will receive an item called Arc of Transcendence Pass. Now, let's go back to Mila Laurel and finish the side quest. Okay, now that the quest is done, my character's hero skill is now upgraded to ancient hero skill. And there you have it. Before you go, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.